Hello guys, my name is Eric and this is ET Unboxing. Today we're going to take a look at more news from the Wonder Festival 2016. I believe the Wonder Festival is over by now because it's a Monday in Japan. No, it's a Tuesday in Japan. So I'm pretty sure it's a weekend event. And the odd thing about it is we didn't see anything from Bandai. So I'm not sure if they're just not prepared or the pictures are not, not out yet. But I've checked everywhere. There's no sign of like Bandai stuff. Except for like an Ultra ultra Act, I think. Wait, let me just check really quickly. Because Bandai is really important, obviously. Yeah, let me just check that like right now. And then we can jump into the other stuff that I missed the other day. Um, yeah, this is all we have. It's the SH Figure Arts Ultra Act. And we're getting a samurai dude, which doesn't look that impressive. So I'm not sure what they're doing. They they have these model kit. I'm not sure if the the pictures pictures are just not released or they really don't have the booth or they just have like some shitty stuff. Anyways, we're, we're gonna jump straight into part two of this review, and mainly we're gonna look at figmas. And there's some pretty cool stuff about Revolt Attack and Super Action Statues. That's the main thing, I think, for the three company. Alright, so first thing being Good Smile. Good Smile is making a lot of really cool figmas this year. I'm going to try to do it as quick as possible. I apologize for the small pictures. Um, apparently, I can't really zoom in. I tried in several videos. Try So I tried to record. This is my, I think, like take 10 or something. Anyways, so... Yeah, the guy from Durarara -da -da is really cool. Let me just take a look. It's Shizuo. Shizuo is coming out. So he's already painted. I didn't know he's already painted the other day. Because I was too busy looking at um, Shizu Shizuya, right? No, Izaya. Izaya. Yep, Izaya. Okay, Izaya is really cool. And I'm getting both of these for sure. Like, those are a no-brainer. And I believe they're making Seruti as well. So we'll take a look at Seruti a little later. I'm pretty sure it's not like there's there's some other tabs that I have it. And Saitama is really cool. Kind of trying to make this video as short about Samus. We're making a Samus girl. The Samus girl is a must get. And apparently there's a newer Samus coming out. And I think this is the old one. This is the one I have. And I'm getting a lot of Ninja Slayer stuff, so I will get this guy for sure. And they're doing all this video looking figures i'm not too sure about that but this guy is really cool with all the scarf and stuff so i will get him and we have all the bad guys from the berserker series i don't even have the berserker figures so I'm, i don't think i'm gonna be too interested and here's seruti right here seruti and this is the main character girl from ninja slayer so we're getting her for sure and more ninja slayer i'm getting her, him for sure and this is the virtual fighter thing. I can't believe they're going through with this. I'm not sure if they're going to sell too well. Maybe they're going to go on sale one day and maybe I'll get it. I still prefer the real people look. I don't really like this like look. We're going to take a closer look at Archer later. I'm pretty sure all these parts are going to come as pre-order bonus. I just feel like it's going to come as pre-order bonus. Yeah. And here's Metal Gear... This is Sons of Liberty, Metal Gear 2, like the soldier. Yeah. I can't believe they're not making a Raiden, though. Instead, they're making this crap. Like, do they expect people to buy three of these and fight against Snake or something? Yeah, because I have the Snake. I hope they redo the face, though, because the real face doesn't look as good. Like, that's a lot of complaint, but, um... Yeah, the... The figure we have right now, like that was released, a lot of people have problem with the face. I personally think it's okay, but the promo picture just looks way better than what we got. And I'm getting this guy for sure. We're going to take a look at bigger pictures later. So this guy is from the, the gangster video game, I believe. And I already pre-ordered this guy. So he's still on AmiAmi Ami right now for pre-order. I'm just going to quickly show you guys what I got. So... That guy is this. I think I believe is from the same series as this guy, and they are from the Yakuza, I believe, the gang Yakuza. Yeah. Anyways, and we're gonna take a close look at this Kirito. This is probably the best figure of the year, like in my opinion, 
because I'm a really big Kirito fan. And I did a review about Kirito. You know how I feel about old Kirito. Ugly face, man. But I still got it because that's our only choice. We don't have a choice. I still got two of them. And some people already pre-ordered Saitama. And yeah, that's pretty cool. An Android Darth Vader. Man, all this Star Wars hype, though. I have a Kylo Ren. I have all the Star Wars figure, but I'm just not that into Star Wars. Kylo Ren, Android, and of course, Death Pool is coming out. So this is what I was talking about. Um, there's a, there's apparently going to be a different version of Samus. So people who missed the Samus or didn't get the first Samus, and here you can probably get this one. And I heard there's going to be a new Link from um, not Ocarina of Time, the one that he turns into Wolf. I forgot which one's that called, but it's that version. So this link is actually lefty. Yeah. Instead, the, the other, the first link we got, he's not a lefty. I'm actually pretty mad about that. Anyways, but th this one's gonna, the, the new link is gonna look more on like the link we, we used to know from Ocarina of Time. And Death, Deadpool, Deadpool Nandroy Figma. Yeah, let's just try to go through this pretty quickly. Uh, this big head, nah, I don't, yeah, that's not for me. The big head stuff. Alright, so the Revo Tech are doing something really cool and I can't wait. Like, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna wait until like probably 2018 to get this. But get ready. Like, I pee my pants when I saw this. We're getting the Yu Gi Oh! So I didn't play that much of Yu Gi Oh! when I was a kid, but I really do like the anime. I didn't give a shit about a card game though, because I just not a card guy. I like action figures, you know. Anyways, so they're coming out with Kaiba. You arguably, I don't know if I I want a Yugi, cause I already pre-ordered the Figma Yugi. Yeah, Figma Yugi just looks really good, unless he has something that Figma Yugi doesn't have. So from the looks of it, he's wearing a jacket. I guess that's the only difference. So for this one, we're getting one that goes for the jacket, and the other one, we're not going to get the one wearing jacket. And, yeah. The Dark Magician looks really cool. And what else do we have here? Oh, this is a really funny manga. And I don't know about Revo Tech making all this, though. The joints are really annoying. Yeah, and a baseball guy? Yeah, they're... The funny thing is, this body mold actually looks very similar to Venom Snake. I guess baseball player has really thick body, so they just use the same mold. Yeah, they look very similar. I just reviewed him like yesterday. And here's some of the stuff from the Monster Hunter. I never played a game, but they look cool. And more big head. Yeah, this is really a trend. I really want to look at their um, the statistic about how, how well these are selling. But yeah, I'm pretty sure Nandroids are doing really good. We'll see. What else do we have here? Alright, so this. Okay, let's take a look at this. Yeah, this is the good smile stuff. Um, do, 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 this is the One Punch Man guy. I wish they make a Figma right away. And Pokemon Red. I heard this is an Amazon Japan exclusive though, so it's gonna be really expensive if you want this. And Dawn of Justice, Batman, really thick Ben Affleck head. Oh, they're making this Peko Peko Nandroid. I really liked the candy when I was a kid, but they're making a toy out of that. Oh, okay. Oh. The Meta Knight, that's, that'll be really cool. He's a really... Yeah, making an android is just like perfect for him. They're apparently making an android out of Mega Man X. I'm not sure if that's cute or cool. Probably a little bit of both. Alright, so the Kirito looks really good over here. And I'm really curious what they're going to give him for the online like pre-order bonus. I'm hoping like for the blue sword that he came, like he he was using earlier because he only used the Excalibur for like three minutes, and we do see he has an app crunch over here, 
that's the new thing. That, that's the old, what old Kirito didn't have. I just reviewed him earlier. But there's probably like, you know, 100 reviews of him on YouTube anyways. But they really did fix the face though. The, the expression looks way better than the first one. And more of the Ninja Slayer. But yeah, definitely. This guy, I'm getting at least three of this when, when it comes out. I'm, pre I'm just going to pre-order three. It's just that good. Like from the looks of it, hopefully it looks at like as as good as when we get it. And this guy, apparently they said this is the Figma, but it doesn't have any joints. So I'm pretty sure they just quickly made a prototype and telling us they're coming out with this guy. So this guy is really interesting. He he's like, um, I I believe he's around 1990. Some of the manga. Let me let me just try to Google really fast. So he's the he's like the Spider-Man and Deadpool of Japan. Yeah, he wears a um underwear on his face. All right, so some of the stuff is not very appropriate. Anyways, yeah, he's it's not too appropriate. I'm just going to turn that off. So, yeah. And they're making a Figma out of this. <laughs> that this <sighs> looks disturbing, but he's really cool, I think. And Seruti with his um, Shinigami blade, that's really cool, the Reaper blade. And more of the, I don't know, Berserker bad guys, yeah, it looks pretty nasty. But that's really cool though, if this thing can move. If this is like fully movable Figma, we're going to start seeing some premium, premium price tag Figmas. Even with Hulk, the Hulk was like probably the most expensive Figma I've seen to date. But yeah, that's another story. And this looks really good. The Samus without armor. Holy shit. And Ted. And yeah, hopefully this guy makes it into the party in time. For Deadpool 2 or something. Yeah. The trailer looks really good. So hopefully there's going to be a second one. Okay. Let me just try to cut time. Oh yeah, these super action statues are doing something really cool. Like I said the other day, they're doing Tokyo Ghouls. But this one's a statue. I don't really care. Um... I'm most excited about Juzo. So apparently Juzo is popular enough for, for him to get a figure. And it comes with the Reaper Blade. I saw some other pictures where they, they show the Reaper Blade. But you get an idea. It's like a Reaper. Yeah, exactly what it looks like. It comes with a crazy face, it seems like. And I can't believe they didn't paint the Kaneki yet. I would really like to see this painted. Especially this looks pretty creepy without a paint. I already have this guy order. Shoe... And so far for Jojo Bizarre, they're only releasing this guy. I'm not that far yet. This is season four. I'm not at season four yet, so I don't know what that guy do. But apparently my friend told me he's, he's really cool. Yeah, so more robot stuff. Some of the more expensive. Oh, they have the Garo head. Hmm, okay, that's cool. And some of the mega house I was looking these are okay okay yeah the s variable action heroes are actually very cool except for they're this big and most of my figures are this big so I don't think they're gonna fight well together yeah I only buy try to buy everything in the same scale only if they make a better SH regards version <sighs> anyways that's unfortunate well I'll just have to wait until 2030 I guess and they're making Mega Man. This company's making like high end Mega Man. I'm not sure about that, man. Like, D Arts or SH Figure Arts already doing like some Mega Man stuff, and you're trying to jump into this market. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that. And they they will they always make a lot of um expensive Iron Man. And yeah, I'm never a big fan of Iron Man. I got the Mark Forty Five, like the most recent um SH Figure Arts, but nothing else. I don't. I just don't want to get into it because it's another shithole that you can get out. I'm sorry, I'm a little loose on my language. And yeah, here's some other Revol Tech stuff that I don't really care about. I think we're we're about yeah we're about through with everything. That should be everything. I don't remember other stuff. We went over Figma. We went over Revol Tech. We went over the Super Action Statue Tokyo Goal. And I'm just really sad that there's nothing from Tamashi Nation. Did it just abandon this, like, Wonderfest? No way, though. Wonderfest is 
arguably the biggest convention or toy fair in Japan. So I'm really surprised that they don't have anything for us. Again, we're gonna look at a Kirito. Oh, I can't, I can't wait. Hopefully, by the time this figure comes out, you guys are st sticking around in, in my channel. We're gonna take a really good look at this. And maybe this guy. I, I'm pretty excited for his body, though. Like, I can't wait to like pull that head off, and then maybe put it on my free figure or something or Figmas. But they tend to have different joints. But I, hopefully, hopefully, like, I can do it. Because I tried to do that for Snake, but Snake apparently has a different neck joint. And hopefully this guy has a regular joint, so I can do that with my Figmas. And yeah, this guy is really cool too. Hopefully I can try to do the head swap as well. That's the fun thing about Figma. And these are, I think I talked about this. I think these are going to come as pre-order bonus, like all these warping things. Yeah, I'm getting pre-order bonus. Because he's my favorite character from, the Gold Archer is my favorite character from Fate. Yeah, so I think that's about it. Yeah, that's about it from me. So, uh, comment and, you know, like the video if you do like it. If you don't, like it anyways, because it kind of helps me to keep going. And, yeah, so I guess I'll see you guys later then. I'm going to do a review on something you guys are not too familiar with. And hopefully you do. It's it's another SH Figure Arts. Like, I just got it from the mail. It's a bad guy from Common What Writer Wizard. He's like the arch enemy from for Wizard. How should I explain this? So he's like, I don't think he's the Vegeta for like for Goku or something. I don't, I don't think so. But he's he's a really iconic bad guy. I'm sorry for the bad thing. So I'm gonna review him later. He has a really cool sword and this overall sculpting is just really cool. But yeah, and well, the mailman fucked me over with this. Like it's it's broken over here. Like it's it, the box is damaged. But anyways, I'll see you guys later, and hopefully you will leave some comment and tell me if you like this kind of video, and I'll keep doing this kind of video, just like to update the news with you guys. All right, see you guys later. Peace.